Hello, Hamish here from mortgagesonline.co.nz. I've got Gary Lynn with me today. We're talking property market. Gary is a property investor, seasoned, um, has featured on the Herald sometimes with his commentary. How are you, Gary? Yeah, great, fantastic. What's happening out there, man? Um, yeah, so the, since the new, uh, last two months, uh, since the banks have tightened up their lending, interest have gone through the roof, uh, back to before uh, COVID started. Uh, the property market is uh, really slowed down significantly. Um, if you look at the, if you're especially in Auckland, you look at the Barfoot, the auction success rates have dropped to about 25%. Uh, that's really low. Usually you, uh, in, a, in a normal market, you should be around 60%. In a hot market, it will be 70% plus. So 25%, yeah, just to show us uh, how, what the, how big of an impact uh, that the lending changes have been, the credit crunch and also the rising interest rates, and also we're not getting enough migrants. Yep, and I mean, Zealand. this is, um, on the background, I've got REINZ. Obviously, some of this doesn't flow into the median house price straight away, right? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, yep. And um, what do you think, in terms of opportunities, yep. um, where do you see the opportunities at the moment? Uh, I, think, I think that the opportunities, especially in the next uh, 6 to 12 months, provided that you know the banks are not going to loosen up the credit, uh, interest rates stay it is, or even higher, migrants are not coming back, then obviously it's going to get worse, potentially, right? Yep. So if you're an investor, I will, I will start to get your finances ready now, um, start looking at the market, start doing your homework now. It doesn't mean you should jump straight into it, but hey, if they're really, really good deal, that makes sense, especially if you focus on cash flow comes yep, in, cash flow. then, then you'll know, jump straight into it, right? But I think there'll be more and more deals coming up as uh, the market soft continue to soften, stay where it stays soft, and also uh, vendor expectations start to drop. And then in the next six months, uh, six or 12 months, especially after, especially during winter, yeah, um, I, I think there'll be more and more deals coming up. Um, look, I know you don't, it's not one, not one of your favourites, and never has been traditionally my apartments in Auckland Central, <laughs> specifically. Yep. Um, yeah, apartments. Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't. Uh, apartments is potentially a good market because obviously inter international students are not here. Um, the vacancy rate have gone through the roof. People are um, working more from home, so the desire to live in, in the CBD and then walk to work. Uh, those it's kind not of, there. it's not really, the, the, yeah, the yeah. appetite is not really there, right? Um, but so, that's the time to buy, right? Because let's uh, face it, some, yeah. my, my feeling is this, and, and I'm not, I've never been a big fan of apartments, but what I'm saying is that um, in some sense, some of those things that are on a horizon are going to be reversed, right? Your roadworks, one day that's going to be finished. Yep. Your uh, international students, one day they yep. will return. Yep. Um, some of the other things that's happening down there is going to take a little bit longer to rectify. You know, yep. I, I think. But overall, uh, that's one opportunity. I think one thing you mentioned about investors is interesting because right now what I'm seeing is there's not many investors in the market. So I'm guessing investor type properties yep. would be right for the um, um, for picking up, right? Yeah, for the people who are prepared who can so get like lending. units, for example, might be a good yeah, idea. Yeah, multi units, yeah, development potential sites. Um, the pe development potential sites have gone the, the price premium have gone down quite a lot. Yes, because um, there's hardly any development funding around, right? Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah. So, uh, but at the same time, you've got to balance the tax rules because the tax rules, you know, interest deductibility, mm. that makes a huge difference in terms of uh, what you should be buying. Um, so obviously development side is not for everybody. Yeah. Um, it's you, more if you've for, got good cash flow already. Yeah, you've got good cash flow. You've got, personal you've got income. quite a few properties yeah. yourself already. Uh, then you can look at the take the next step up is that if you are buying development site, then you potentially, hopefully, you are in a position to develop it straight away. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, develop sites are probably, and that's another video, uh, but uh, <laughs> the other, and, and, yeah. and, and probably I'll finish up with the, one of the biggest opportunity now in the market is, uh, you know, especially if you're looking to buy double grammar zone, you know, uh, prest prestige type, you know, uh, private school zone, uh, hot, um, what do you call it? Good quality school zone. Good though. quality school zones. Uh, uh, this is this is the time now. You don't have to wait six months, right? The uh, the buyers, your competition is already uh, kind of on the sidelines. And uh, especially these properties uh, like double grammar zone in Auckland, etc. Uh, generally, there's always a good demand for those and the quality listings, the quality properties are always hard to come by anyway. So don't wait now if you're in a position to buy, you're right, you know, uh, people who are, can afford it, etc. Yeah. Now's the time, I think, really the good time to jump in. And just a disclaimer, of course, this is very generic advice. Yep. You know, talk to your own advisor to get personal uh, advice, someone such as like myself, who I specialize in mortgages. But um, thank you for your time today, Gary. All right, no worries. Appreciate it. Cheers.